hey guys i hope you're doing well today you guys i'm sure you already know me by now if there's a wife out here exposing their husbands i will definitely come back and dish it up for you especially because i know some of you don't have that time to be sitting and listening to a podcast of like one hour plus but you know me i got the time and i will definitely summarize everything for you guys so today we'll be talking about lekau's wife for those for those who don't know who is lekau lekau is the founder and owner of drip and for those didn't know Lugau here you see him you guys I put up his picture there you will know him today so the wife was interviewed by madam speaker so yeah let's get into it so the wife's name is Leborang Sohana guys I used to say Sohana but it's Sohana when I listened she pronounced it as Sohana not Sohana ne? she is a boy mom and by profession she is a business and system analyst and her mama died when she was in university like her final year that's when her mother died obviously she had um to take care of her two siblings so when her mother died she became a mother to her two siblings when she was still at home before she met or like she bought a property you guys where she built um cottages to rent before we continue now i just want to make a disclaimer everything i'm gonna say in the video is alleged before ulika will sues me so i'm just gonna summarize everything that the wife said um, she says she knew ulika for the longest time like she knew him for like eight years before they can actually start dating in 2016 and got married in 2018 so when they met in 2016 ulika was allegedly unemployed and she was basically the breadwinner guys but fortunately for them they were both business minded and they used to start up like some businesses you know businesses you start a business today it fails tomorrow you start another one so they were those kind of couples and because of that they were always working because of the businesses they would start here and there bear in mind the wife is employed she is working full-time she has a nine-to-five only ulikau is the unemployed one here right they got married and she got pregnant throughout their business journey you guys the wife would be the one funding all the businesses you know when you're starting a business you need a capital so she would be the one providing that that financial um part especially in the business side she would be the one funding everything since Ulikau was unemployed they were selling eggs selling chickens shisanyama and the wife would usually assist when she comes back from work like after about 5 p.m she would come back home and still assist with the businesses you know since she had a nine to five eventually you guys they ventured into a sneaker brand but before that because i want to go step by step they were forced to literally move in together at the the wife's home because they could not afford like rent and all of that so they were forced to go now um and stay at the lebohanges home like home her mother's house you guys allegedly ulika was staying at lebohanges home and that is when they ventured into the into a sneaker brand which is the drip um footwear name remember she is a breadwinner she had to take care of her siblings so that is why they were forced to go back there they ventured into the sneaker brand and obviously the financial part it has to come from the wife the wife had to um provide that financial assistance so that the business can grow Ulikau, you guys allegedly lied about um where his mom stayed he told his wife that his mother stayed in limpopo only for the wife to find later that her mother-in-law legawa's mother was actually in ivory park 
in a squatter camp and that really broke her heart so she took Legao's mother and took her to her one of her cottages remember i told you that she bought a property when she, before she got married or before she met Legao. so she took the mother in one of her cottages and asked one of the tenants to move out so that she can accommodate the mother-in-law so now she says drip food wear is succeeding everything is going well and cause she was always at work because of her nine to five Uligao was basically the face of the brand you know he was the one um running the business people even when people now when they're talking about drip food wear they would mention Ulegao because they do not know the wife. The wife is at work funding the business. She was literally the backbone of the business. Usually, they will deliver the sneakers using the wife's car. Until now, the, the business was literally growing, growing so fast that they needed a business car. And because Ulegao was not working, he could not afford to get a car on credit. So, the wife did get the car on credit under her name so that she can grow their business apparently that car is still working for drip till today obviously as the business grew Ulegao became famous and that was the downfall of their marriage Ulegao's circle changed and he would come home late he would come home drunk like everything just got worse and worse that is when he would come home at odd hours like 11 p.m 3 a.m 5 a.m and start doing this strange rituals you guys allegedly Olegao will literally slaughter a chicken at the 3 a.m. drunk coming from, I don't know, from parties or clubs, whatever. And he would do these rituals. And the wife would ask, like, why are you doing these things? Because, you know, we don't usually do this kind of things. We usually just pray for whatever we want in life. And Legao would allegedly start to abuse her more and more. It got worse, you guys, to a point where now Olegao was now beating up the wife. Even when they would have like a bad review, maybe someone buys the sneaker and say, no, the sneaker is not a good quality. Ulka will literally lash out on the wife and get angry at the wife as if it's the wife who complained about the sneaker. The wife says the TVs will be broken, um, phones, like it was bad like that, you guys. As you know, the business grows and that is when they decided to get a house. They bought a house and decided to renovate that house. They did not move in and uh, into the house but they decided to renovate it while they are still um renting while they're still renting because their life situation did not change Ulegao is still abusive then he realizes that actually he's got a childhood trauma then he decides you know what my wife i'm gonna move out and go to see a therapist when i'm okay i'm gonna come back that is, that was their agreement basically they were separating so that, so that he can fix his life then that did not last for long because apparently Olga would now come home randomly like four times a week like he would come home drunk at odd hours come sleep with the wife and leave like he would literally come home just to sleep with the wife when he is done pleasuring himself with his wife he will literally leave and that is when the wife decided you know what I don't feel this i feel like i am getting hurt because i am not enjoying this and literally i'm not okay i think we can now just separate because this marriage is not working that's when olegao now started abusing her emotionally like he would just come at 11 p.m and say no i'm here to see my child i'm not here because of you i'm here for the child and that is when the wife decided to change the house locks and when he changed the, when she changed the house locks that is when obviously when he would come and knock at night or at the odd hours as the wife says um the wife would not open and Lulika will threaten to not pay their rent to not take care of them and that they will suffer and all those things so when the wife decides to not open for him Olega will literally stop paying their rent and stop taking care of his own son 
the wife was going through a lot and boss saw her and that is when she lost her job they would go months without electricity there was a point where she had to take her child to the clubhouse so that they can get hot water you guys to bath now she wanted divorce and Olga was like baby you know now i'm a public figure so please do not take this to court let's settle out of court obviously with the wife being a peaceful person allegedly being a peaceful person because we don't know her like that right um that's when she was like okay no problem but unfortunately Olga kept on dragging and dragging and dragging um this whole divorce making empty promises like everything was just a lot like he was not um coming to the party the wife then asked to take the child to school so legao can pay school fees you know and legao was like how are you gonna take the child to school how are you gonna pay rent since you're not working but the wife was expecting him to pay rent but he was just like i'm not gonna pay um the school fees oh did i say rent no not rent school fees then legal refused to pay school fees the wife then asked him to get her a nanny legal still refused you know she says she was not okay at the time mentally you know when you are depressed like it can get hectic especially when you're a mother but legal still refused to help his wife the wife took the child to school legal would pay whenever he wants to like he would pay a month and skip like five months and all those things which is kind of weird you guys and she says from 2022 Ulgao hasn't been paying his own child's school fees she says when we were praising Olegao, Legao's mother was also suffering because Olegao was not taking care of his own mother and sister. The wife had to literally help them even with pets, you guys. You know, pets like sanitary pets, like she had to help with those and buy food for them because Olegao was just like he is on another level he doesn't care about anyone with legao dragging the whole divorce now he started threatening the wife when the wife makes some demands especially when it comes to the divorce like Olegao will literally threaten her in her own words Olegao will, will respond by saying i am very powerful I'm a prominent figure. I have connections. I control social media. I have politicians and celebrities in my payroll. I will destroy you. Though she would agree to what Legao wanted, he still wouldn't sign the divorce. It was excuse after excuse after excuse. Olegao now allegedly started creating lies and said that um, he started drip footwear after his divorce. He said his wife was a gold digger. Um, she is mentally unstable or mentally ill and got admitted into a hospital. And the wife says those were just lies. He allegedly lied also about the wife hiring hit men against him. You know, hit men to finish him off and and the wife got arrested she got arrested for something she did not know so legao lied about that as well and said that he ran to paris because the wife hired hit men but the following day after announcing his in paris he was spotted in Centen at the rich Muniz's party since she couldn't pay rent anymore her and the child got evicted and on the 26th of june they got evicted this year you guys before i forget she says one day she took the child to legao's mother because they have a good relationship and when she got back like after a few days when she wanted to take back the child she noticed that the child had cultural um cuts on the forehead body at his back and all of that and when he when she asked mother-in-law mother-in-law said it's the father and that's when she told Olgao, like, please don't do all these things um, on my kids because, you know, I don't believe in such. And Olgao allegedly responded by saying, do you think all these businesses that are successful is due to prayer? You have to strengthen your business. The wife says she even got a miscarriage because of him. In her own words, Olgao is greedy, selfish, 
I'm cruel and a narcissist. Till this day, Legao's child is not going to school. Anyway, you guys, there you have it. I think I summarized it better. I don't know. You will let me know. But yeah, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think about this. I will definitely see you on my next one.